My name is Yuri. I represent MapLibre. I'm going to talk about MapLibre and the status. And since I only have five minutes, it's going to be YouTube 2x, maybe 2.5x. I'll try really fast. Anyway, let's go. So what is MapLibre? Most of you already know. We're a nonprofit. We are an organization maintaining this stack of tools to render maps and lots of bits and pieces to make this possible. Uh, it started as a tweet. I told you it's going to be fast. Um, where are we we're on right now? So we have a whole bunch of key projects. Um, the main one is MapLibre GLGS, which basically renders your tiles. Uh, there's a native one, and there's a Martin tile server. MapLibre RS is an experimental rest re rewrite, and there's a new map libre tile format. Recently, one of our users obviously had a mishap with their CI because our download count just went to, through the roof and it's now over 400,000 a week, which is kind of nice. I'm sure it's a CI issue. Um, it's open governed. We get elected every year, re-elected, I'm on board. Uh, those who actively participate in the community, please uh, submit if you uh, your name so you're added to the voting thing. And also consider participating in the board as well. And uh, there's going to be a voting in a month or two. Uh, we have amazing sponsors, thanks to them, uh, and many others who are not even listed here. Uh, it, it became all possible. There is a vision. I mean, we're not flying blind, as some may think. There's a lot of visualization aspects uh, that uh, uh, we are working on. Uh, mostly it's uh, community efforts, uh, although some are uh, organized uh, for-profit corporations paying for those as well. Uh, there's a tile server that keeps getting better and better with a lot of uh, tooling and on-the-fly tile generation and many other things. There is a 3D that is, um, not, so I'm not gonna do this YouTube. Oh, come on, let's go, let's, it's just, well, okay, fine. I'm gonna do this. Uh, so it's a, a, a nice um, uh, animation. Well, uh, I'm actually, as I, as I said, it's usually I do 30 minutes, I, and so it's really packing it together. So the state, the like the things that really, that's why you came. That's the title of this presentation. Map Libre GLGS. Globe is almost there. We we got most of the functionality working. Uh, now discussing what color the atmosphere should be and that kind of useful and important critical things. Uh, styling uh, got a lot of improvements. Now uh, MapLibre GeoGS is a proper superset of all the styling functionality, um, uh, as opposed to native, which is a subset of that. Um, we got much cleaner API. Got rid of the whole hell of callbacks. Uh, now it's all promises, as always. Um, MapLibre native. Metal support shift. That was a big, big achievement. Uh, lots of partners, our uh, partners from uh, Meta and AWS and many others have contributed to this. Amazing achievement, really. Um, now it's used on millions of devices by big and small companies. Lots of automation improvements, things like that. Uh, and now we are beginning to work on Vulkan. I know those with Android and Windows and many other tools are like, oh my God, you can do it on Vulkan too. Yes, we are working on that. We got all the groundwork figured out. Now we are, it's just, you know, only the hard part remains to actually do it. Um, Martin Tile Server has been receiving a lot of uh, attention. I, I ooh, there we go, broke my glasses. Um, PM Tiles received HTTP support, AWS Lambda supported. Uh, bulk tile generation, you can actually use Martin to generate tons of tiles all at once. And very similar to tile life copy, if anyone remember, still remembers that tool. So now you can use it, uh, Martin for that as well. Copy, filter, combine, manipulate MB tiles. What you can even do is you can take two MB tiles, compare them, cr generate the diff, send the diff over to some remote location and apply the diff to a uh, two MB tiles there. <coughs> so quite useful. Uh, I work for a com car company, Rivian, and uh, one of the reasons I'm really interested in this kind of technology. Oh, wait, we have, uh, yeah, and the upcoming is a binary diffing uh, ability, so you can actually make the diffs really, really small. There's some other interesting things. Microsoft became a sponsor. Yay, thank you. Uh, and uh, Microsoft also invested in the prototyping of the new tile format. How am I doing time? Really need to wrap up. Um, Maputnik onboarded, Herstar, uh, Stadium app implemented, really nice SDK for navigation, lots of fun things. 
What's next? Vulkan, as I said, MLT tile format, I've mentioned to some of you, it's the uh, best thing since MBT was invented. Uh, we are also looking for, to hire people uh, for coordination role and for graphics engineer role, so do consider. So in MVT, very, very briefly, less than one minute, we have up to 6x smaller tiles possibility there and much faster decoding. It's CMD, it's every buzzword you can hear in the industry right now is on that slide. And plus you get new types, new data types uh, directly to GPU and lots of fun use, new use cases for that data. You can even do things like routing with those tiles in theory and three, some 3D animation and, well, it's a nice MLT. Um, that's us, thank you so much. <laughs>